Welcome everybody to a very new series that I'm personally really excited about. So, if you guys can't read, <laughs> or haven't noticed yet, this game is Portal. Now, I don't even remember when this game came out, but I assure you I bought this and I instantly fell in love with it. So, um, I have played this game before. I played it years, years, absolutely years ago. And on the, I've played Portal 2 too, also, and this just looks super foreign. I also own the soundtrack to this. <laughs> bum, bum. So I have very little time to do things. Oh hey, that's funny. I understand how to walk. That's my little pod. Shit. That's the amount of time. Hello, oh god. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from- Why, for favor, for Don't they fire me? Turn back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. Oh, well, hello there, me. Nice to see you. I wonder if I had this much frame rate when I played it the first time. The computer was not having that, guys. Not having it. So, this is Portal. If you've never seen Portal, never played Portal you've been living under a rock. What Portal is, is um, as you can see here, in here is where we are, and out there is the second portal. So what it is is basically interstellar um, travel basically. And these are cameras watching my every move, because this is a test facility, this is the Aperture Science Test Facility. And basically we're being tested on what, what we can do. So, as you can see up there, people will, we can, let's do it. Let's do this, let's jump up here. And as you can see, there's stuff going on up there. That means people are, can see us. Now, since I- Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Which is that thing, the thing we just did. So basically this is a aperture labor laboratory. It's basically just the name. And the voice you hear, um, a spoiler alert, is GLaDOS. It is G, capital G, L, capital G, lowercase L, A, uppercase, um, D, O, S. So, um, here, as you can see, this is one of 19, and they brand everything in this game, so, let's jump down. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Those are words, you said. So here we go. I will take this out with me. I can take items with me. Nope. Oh, that, this is a little bit different. Ow, god. That is me taking damage, you guys. I need to put it there. Oh, they did it for me. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Cool. No, I need that. I need you. I need you in my life. I just- I screwed this up. Oh, and I'm trapped in here. GG, guys. GG. I, well, I guess it changes. I didn't realize that. So I said I haven't played this in a very, 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 very long time. 
All right, now I have to wait. So I play this probably a year after it came out. I bought it on sale, probably, to be honest. And I really love this game. The writing is brilliant, the music is amazing, the just, the aesthetics are amazing. Like, I am obsessed. So basically we have the, it's a test facility, right? So we have to do different tasks to be able to go through here. And let me tell you, it's really weird seeing this, <laughs> playing this after playing Portal 2. If you didn't know, I had the sequel. Again, probably living under some kind of rock. And I love, I absolutely love everything about this game. Except possibly loading. Wow, really? I don't even, this game is old, guys. This game is from like 2000 single digits. You're doing very well. Thank you. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, <laughs> emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. It's amazing. I just, I love everything about it. Whoop. Very Yay! Good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do oh, not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. Oh, I love it. It's so, it's just amazing. So this is the portal gun, the infamous portal gun. Um, and with this, right now I can only shoot one portal because this is a tutorial level. Um, but I can shoot this on any of the regular walls. The walls that are specifically made for me to be able to do this made with a special type of material which is elaborated more on in Please the second the chamber lock. Mind the gap. in the um can i not nope it's so i love it i l absolutely love the atmosphere in here are you gonna nope you're not i was sort of hoping you would but you didn't and so you can do this long range too. It, I don't think it has a... Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Um, you can do it long range. It's... I love it. Um, so... Yeah. I absolutely am in love with this game. I haven't played it since I played it the first time because I'm not a fan of replaying games, but... Portal I will always make an exception to. So, yeah, I think, I want to say this game came out in like 2007, 2008, but I'm not too sure. I know the sequel came out in 2011, 2011. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. It also flips you around. Oh, you pick up things with E. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Woo! So, good. I mean, she'll stop talking. No offense, Lados, but you're a chat chatterbox. So, um, you'll see these things here all over the place. You, you saw them in the um, poster at the front. And these are basically telling you, cube fall, cube will hit you in head. It'll also tell you if it'll destroy the cube and stuff like that. It gets a lot more involved. Basically, Portal is a puzzle game. And you have to figure things out um, by moving yourself from here to, to another section. So you can make two portals, just since it's the um, tutorial levels. You can only use one at the moment. Oop. Can I make my other one yet? No. It's left click and right click basically. Also, um, portals keep their, oh, my bad. Portals keep their, um, 
velocity from things that go in and out. So speedy things go in, speedy things come out. Oh, where's the other one? Up there. Oh. Let's do this then. And so I'm a real big fan just generally of puzzle games. And for this too, you also like let go and stuff with E. So as you can see, this told us, thing fall on face. And people are quote unquote watching us. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber <laughs> was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, false. Now I'm out of there. Like I said, it's a it's a puzzle game. You have to figure it out. Um, in this game, a lot of the time, it is what you think. The answer is what. Basically, this you know throws everything you know about physics upside down and about real life. So you um you can do what you think you can't do. Oh, I forgot about you. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject one down here. <laughs> so, like I said, speedy things go in, speedy things go out. When I play. I'll try and remember where a lot of the easter eggs are in this game, but I'll be honest with you, I don't remember a lot of them. There's an entire- like, this isn't- this is, um, not just like a puzzle game. This is- this also has like a full-blown plot behind it, and it's absolutely fascinating. And I found out a few weeks ago that this game was actually- I think- this game concept was different the first time around. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Whoop. Now you guys might be thinking, wow. You're gonna be really good at this game. I'm not. Don't worry about it, guys. This is just really easy at this point. And I don't- I honestly do not remember whoop, anything about this game. So chances that I'm going to- I don't think I actually died a lot the first time around. So I don't suspect me dying a lot in this game, but I do assure you that there is a part in Portal 2 that took me literally about three hours to figure out. Because I I scoured every single inch of one level and I could not figure it out for the life of me. I got distracted one or two times, but I couldn't figure it out. I was just I I'm sure that's gonna happen again. There's always I always do really well until I don't. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. <laughs> Good luck. Lol. I fucking- oh my gosh. I am obsessed. Oh, that's coming straight for me. That's unfortunate. Just wait for that to just do that. And now we'll do this and go boop. Oh. I died. So things happen, guys. Okay, I get I see it now. I get it. I shouldn't have walked over there. Oh what? And right through. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. 
Oh, okay, good. Those things sometimes go out of control, so you gotta be careful. Boop. And boop. Nope, that was incorrect. God, Lehman. No, god damn it. Um. Is that right? Nope. God, I cannot remember for the life of me. So how the hell am I supposed to? So I have to get it over there, right? Okay, so by doing that. That's gonna happen a lot in this game. Let me just put it that way, that's gonna happen a lot. This is not gonna be a... A flawless victory run. Oh, I can do this. Um, let's see, let's walk here. Will I die? Nope, didn't die. Good news, guys. Did not die. Oh, wow. Almost died, but did not die. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Oh, man. I love the writing because she's such a bitch. Is a terrible person and I love it. I absolutely 100% love it. If you guys can ever hear me rubbing my eye, it's um, it's because like I get this like sharp pain like near my tear duct, and I don't know what it is, but it feels like there's something in my eye, but I haven't been able to find anything. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. All right. Make no attempt to solve it. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Boop, boop. Oh, I fell. Well, so what do I have to do here? So, thing falls, I walk here. If I do that, will that erase that? Yep, it the does. The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. It's clearly broken, guys. Clearly broken. It did not take me long to figure this Actually, false. It did take me a long time to figure this out, but I got it. I see what it did you now. So as you can see, there's a little thing over there, and like I said, once again, the enrichment center offers its most fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Extreme pessimism is, you know, a word. God, if you haven't played this series, go ahead and play it. Like, the story is amazing, the writing's amazing, the music's great, the easter eggs are amazing, the side plot is amazing, and just, like, game design is beautiful, and it's something so simple. Hello again. To reiterate, previous one, nope. Momentum. Oh. No, I need to do this. There you go. Right there. Oh, I got there. I got there in the end. <laughs> like I said, speedy things go in, speedy things go out. Okay, what does this say? Speedy things go in, speedy things go out. Okay then. So what you have to do here is you just have to keep pointing. You have to just keep putting um, portals everywhere. Is there a floor down there? There is a floor. Whoop! Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Or to be more precise, how it does not. Okay then, so let's do this. Is there a- yep, there is. So let's do this. Boop. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. One of my favorite quotes. 
I follow on Twitter actually, um, GLaDOS. She has a Twitter, thanks to fans of Portal, and they always put up quotes. Quotes of this game in Portal 2 when that one came out. And priceless, absolutely priceless. That's why I'll always shut up so you guys can hear it, even though there is captioning. I just absolutely love this game. Is that 20 minutes? That's 20 minutes. So I wear glasses, guys, and I never wear them at home because I don't like them. What's not that I don't like them is that they're too small for my head now. Like, literally, they're not long enough. So they're just cumbersome and annoying. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. Ooh. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <laughs> For instance, the floor will kill you. Therefore, try to avoid it. Where is the other one you can open up? Oh, there's a ball that's gonna come and try and kill me, isn't there? I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit. Alrighty then. Boop. Boop, boop. Oh, damn it. I wonder if that'll destroy it. I have to wait. God. Bummer. Oh, okay, so it does keep it there. Ah! 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 Alrighty then. I need to get this thing. Go do things. Oh, sweet, that was the right one. That was not the right thing. Oh my god. I almost died, guys, but it's fine. I didn't. So I, I'm crouching. I'm, I'm pushing shift to crouch as if that does anything. Oh wait, wait, wait! wait I want to get on you. All right, here we go. Sweet! I get my second, my secondary fire, my secondary portal. Oops. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in Subject Hometown here. LOL. In Subject Hometown here. The thing about Portal though is that you do have to do a lot of waiting. Oh well. I don't remember which color I put in there, I hope it was blue. Yeah, it was blue. Sweet! Boop boop. God, I love- in the second one, in co-op mode you get two different colors. It's not this color blue and this color orange. And there's co-op mode in Portal 2. I'm gonna talk a lot about Portal 2 because that's the one I've played most recently. But trust me, Portal 1 is the reason I went to Portal 2. Okay. Sometimes they won't talk to you. A lot of the time they don't talk to you a lot. So you have to... Ooh, that was a loud thunder. It's raining. Um... Here where I live. Also, things like this um, give you hints. So yeah, it's... It's raining where I live. And therefore... Um, really loud outside. It sounds like someone's walking in. Oh god. Oh, damn it. Alright. Fuck that one up. Woo! So what I find is to um, put your secondary, um, or the button you're not used to pushing very much. For me, for example, it's the right button that I don't... It's not as flexible because it's my ring, my middle finger. And my point... The turf finger is more accustomed to doing other things, so. God, it's not what I meant to do. 
So like that, that's my secondary one. Now I can jump off up here. And um... What did this do? That opens that. Okay, so... Now I can jump off up here and... Do this and be safe with my momentum. Right then, now I have to get back there. Hold on. I can just jump. Jump! Also, I don't take fall damage because I have some really cool boots, as you will see later on. And now I have to do this again. So let's Geronimo! And always click it as you're falling. <laughs> We Ugh, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just sarcastic and bitchy all at once, and that's everything I love with a person. Alright, so this has been going on for about... for a while, so I'll stop this recording here. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're enjoying this new series of Portal. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!